Gael, you're playing a real person, but this is not this is not a real straightforward telling of, of the story. I mean, it's a crazy movie, and the style is you know is exaggerated. And I mean, did you feel like you had to be true to that guy, or did you have creative license here? Well, no, exactly because of what you said. I mean, the the um, I play a real person, meaning like we create a character that is real now. I mean, the 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 real person that <laughs> that did this. Um, has another story and has uh, other qualities and also there is something very uh, I don't know sort of a how do you say like a, a straightforward line at the beginning of the film saying that uh, this is a replica of the original you know this is not you know playing on the I don't know on, on a meta cinematic thing of like well what you're seeing is based on real facts but at the same time it is more than that, no? It is not only based. It's like inspired on 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 really the the curiosity that everyone has around this issue. Is like why they did what they did. Why did they do it? You know, no? Why, yeah. Who are these guys? What? Do, why did they do it? And this is just another I don't know, a take on it, no? On on how it is. But definitely, I mean, we built those characters that so that they became really real in a way. Um, I don't know the the whole world became very real of this interpretation of the n of 1985 nowadays in Mexico no it, it was really interesting to, to I mean a really interesting exercise to to do mm -hmm. So Alonzo, was it clear to you <coughs> when you were working it out okay we can depart from the real story here and, and that was the actual starting point it was uh you know once I got this story and started writing, rewriting the screenplay with Manuel Alcalá and you know, that I was directing it, then we soon decided to depart from the original story and we really took a left turn and went our own way um, for several reasons. One being that uh, sometimes you find that, that facts, when, when you're telling a, a story that's based on facts, they kind of become a, a, a constraint, you know, they, they, for fiction. They, they're kind of opposed to fiction sometimes for a film to work. And, to, and the other was that we just saw so many themes that we wanted to explore that kind of took us away from that. I wanted to uh, explore more in depth the relationship of Gael's character with his father, for example. There's, there's a, a, th a theme that I'm obsessed with about fatherhood there. Um, and also the, the, the real life characters, um, th their families, they didn't want to be involved with the film at all. So, I mean, there was a lot of reasons why we decided, but m mainly it's because the film uh, it, it in itself is also like a, a, a comment and a, and a reflection of storytelling, you know? Uh, um, it, it, it is also about that and about the, the relationship between story and history and, and how they, they kind of interlink all the time and there's a lot of fiction in history in the way we tell ourselves our history and th so the film is about that so I, I felt it was important that there was elements that you almost couldn't tell apart which were fact and which were complete fiction you know? mm -hmm.